fact came in a little better than expectations. Even M&M should come up for you. That stock is down around a percent and a half. The total sales this time were up around 70 on percent. But let's in fact listen in to the management themselves. CNBC TV 18 this morning. My pleasure. Yeah, well, uh, at the end of this fiscal, uh, can you take us through the numbers that uh, you've reported last month and also for the entire year? Well, actually, I'm very happy to say that the, the month of March uh, 16 was a good month, uh, wherein overall we have grown by 17%. If you look at the, the UV, which is our main forte, uh, our, our growth is around 21 percent. Overall commercial vehicles also if you look at actually we have grown by around 24 percent. But the notable thing in that is the MHCV mm -hmm. which has grown by almost around 57 percent for the month of March. Mm -hmm. uh, in exports we did uh, uh, 3,700 plus vehicles which is also in the given global situation is a good performance. Talking for the whole of the year the uh, I'm very happy to say that actually we have posted a, a, a positive growth overall for 6% and if I may further try and share with you the, the breakup, the, the uh, UV segment has grown by uh, around 6% and the commercial vehicles also have grown by around 6%. But again, if you look at MHCV, which has grown by 59%. Mm. 57% growth was in the month of March, but the for the month of uh, for the whole of the current fiscal F16, which just ended yesterday, the growth was 59%. Oh. I'm very happy to say that actually our exports in the current global environment have also did very well, and our exports were more than. 36,000 vehicles and which represents 19% growth. So overall looking at uh, the the challenging fiscal F16, the, the positive uh, growth what we have put it in both in domestic and in the exports market is what something uh, which we are happy about. Sure. Uh, how much of the buying or how much of the jump in sales for the month of March was actually supported by pre-buying that took place in order to combat the impact of the infra cess as well as the higher levies that was uh, that were announced in the budget this year. Well, actually, uh, I wouldn't uh, surely that that is something which was uh, unexpected, which came in in the last budget, and most of the manufacturers have had passed on uh, the the increased uh, cost in terms of increasing the price. Uh, and I would suggest actually the uh, in the, during the month of March there were schemes actually which were going. So I wouldn't assign very big uh, reason for the the especially in our sales on account of the likely increases effective from today, uh, which could have pushed people to buy ahead of the time. Sure. What is the internal view that Mahindra and Mahindra is taking on the Supreme Court's decision to extend uh, the ban on uh, the registration of vehicles above 2000 cc in the NCR region? Well, it's unfortunate that uh, the, uh, the Honorable Supreme Court could not uh, hear the, the, the case uh, yesterday because of the paucity of time uh, and had to, to extend the ban. But uh, I personally feel that uh, uh, the major causes uh, uh, for which actually the ban was uh, introduced, I think one should really get into the facts and figures of that, especially the impact of that onto the environment, how much of improvement or otherwise has happened because of that. Uh, having said that, there is a already a uh, long term roadmap which has been defined wherein the 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 uh, bs6 has already been prepared to 1st april 2020 mm -hmm. uh, and also added to that if you look at actually the diesel vehicles in the last budget ranging from 1 to 4% the uh, the infrastructure success has been added so which is what uh, the diesel vehicles already are bearing extra uh, extra costs apart from the need for meeting in 1st April 2020 the BS6 straight from BS4 is also going to bring a lot of uh, investments and pressures uh, I'm sure actually as and when the the Honorable Supreme Court will hear this case 
they will take into account the, the various factors and accordingly reflect on that decision. The Mahindra Group was in the process of preparing uh, or, you know, calibrating a sub two liter diesel engine as well in order to combat uh, the pressure that came along with this ban. So how far has that project reached and when do we see the release of that uh, or the inductment of that two liter engine? Well, actually, it, uh, it is not uh, the, uh, because of the ban, actually, we have had the product uh, 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 ready. I think it was part of the, our road, future road map. And we had the, the engine, uh, which was below two liter, which has already been adopted onto, uh, with requisite, uh, uh, by following the requisite product development process, both onto the XUV 500 and also in the the Scorpio uh, versions of our products and they are already available in the NCR markets. All right, uh, then uh, the Nifty continues to hold uh, with a cut of closure on 35 points.